great prophet has risen among us, and that has been for his people. The great prophet is not another but the Lord Jesus Christ. We do celebrate the prophet today, Prophet Joel, as we are in our tradition, to which the Ottoman tradition celebrates all the prophets of the Old Testament. And we are the only church that celebrates the prophets. The other guys who may also celebrate the prophets is, are the Jewish brothers, but we're not going to tell them what to do. However, we as Christians are the ones who celebrate all the prophets of the Old Testament. And we are there for sure to celebrate the prophets, especially at the beginning of the month of December, which is coming up. We do celebrate all the prophets, one after the other. Now, there were prophets in the Old Testament. However, the greatest of them is the prophet that begins the New Testament, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. A great prophet has risen amongst us, said the Jewish people, when they saw a miracle performed by the Lord Jesus at that beautiful place, which is called Naim. Naim in Hebrew means beautiful. So it was a village called the Beautiful. And that was a village across of Mount Tabor. If you go to, Jerus to Jerusalem, to the Holy Land today, they are going to take you by Naim as well. Our people, the 47 guys that we got from the Dallas of Pittsburgh, were received so beautifully by our patriarch at the Mother Church of, of Jerusalem, our patriarch and all the brothers there, the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre and all the brothers. I would say sisters, because there are quite a few sisters, especially of Romanian descent, who are there now visiting and serving our Holy Church, the Mother Church of Jerusalem. So I went to visit the Mother Church of Jerusalem, and they took us by the village of Naim, and of course right away remembered the story, which is related to us in today's Gospel. We went to Mount Tabor. We started our pilgrimage from Mount Tabor for those who came with us. And we were so blessed to go to the same place where the Lord Jesus was standing, on Mount Tabor. That's the place where the altar is right now. And then we saw the little village, Taburias, Tavorias, that's the name in Greek. And Taburias is still the name in, in uh, Arabic. Not only that, to the population of the village, which is all around Mount Tabor, not only in front, but all around. So that little village, which is called Taburias, is the village that saw the miracle of the Lord Jesus healing a person who was possessed by evil spirits, a possessed person. And that's the person that the Lord Jesus healed. The disciples were not able to heal the person because as the Lord Jesus told them, they did not have strong enough faith. The faith was not strong enough for them to be able to operate that miracle. He, the Lord Jesus told them, if you have faith as powerful as uh, a seed of a cinnamon, they could be able to move even mountains. Tell Mount Tabor, move from here, go yonder. It's going to go, and nothing will be impossible to you. That's what the Lord Jesus told them at Taburias. And now Naim is close by. And probably the miracles happened one after the other. As soon as this one finished at Taburias, and as soon as the Lord Jesus healed that person who was possessed by all kinds of demons, he went to now restore life and give life to another person who was dead. And that was the son of a widow, and the only son that the widow had was a given young person who was dying and who was uh, carried to be, uh, to go to the cemetery and be buried. The Lord Jesus had pity of the mother, and had pity of the young man. He stopped the guys who were carrying the 
boy and tells them, wait. He told the guy, get up. And the guy got up and came down and started talking. And of course, that was a miracle, a very obvious miracle. And no one had a doubt about the miracle. And the Lord Jesus told them, friends, this is what it is. If you have faith enough, if your faith is strong enough, you're going to also rise dead from their death. The Jewish people who were there made the statement that a great prophet has uh, visited his people, has come amongst us, has risen amongst us, and God has visited his people. And that was one of the many cases where, where the Lord had visited his people, the Lord our Father in heaven, had visited his people through the last of the prophets and the greatest of the prophets, the Lord Jesus himself, who was that great prophet of which today's gospel speaks. Brothers and sisters, I'm so pleased and happy to be with you, not only after our visit to the Holy Land, and I'm very thankful to those 46 guys, I was the 47th, who, who came with me to go to the Holy Land and see those beautiful places blessed by the presence of the Lord Jesus. And I'm with you pretty close after that. We came back second part in uh, September. And this is not the second part of October yet, which means that I've come, I've come to be with you in less than a month after a visit to the Holy Land. And I'm bringing to you the blessings of the Holy Land, and especially the blessings of the Holy Sepulcher, in the front of which I have celebrated the Divine Liturgy Sunday following our visit to the Holy Land. I'm pleased and happy to be with you and speak on behalf of the Lord Jesus, this great prophet that the Lord gave us so that in his name salvation may be gained by each of us. The salvation may be gained by each human person upon this world. Jesus is the Lord, Jesus is the prophet, so Jesus is the healer. Of all, of all of our transgressions, healing even our death and raising us up from our death. And this is what we celebrate today. And this is what we celebrate whenever we celebrate this beautiful divine liturgy, honoring the Lord Jesus, the healer of our sufferings, and the one who gives us eternal, abundant life, the life of God's holy kingdom, in which you live, and to which you give witness as Orthodox Christians any place you are. I'm so glad, glad to be with you today to celebrate this first divine liturgy here in the place where the Holy Trinity Church will be raised pretty soon. We're going to bless the ground today at the end of the liturgy. And I'm so pleased and happy to be with you across of La Roche College, uh, an important kind of uh, academic institution. Academics are fine, but I'm so thankful to the sisters of La Roche College who are Christians. And they honor the Lord through their faith. And I'm so thankful to them for thinking of us and telling us, you are our best uh, customer. So we're going to get you as our customer instead of selling the place to some other guys. But anyway, I'm very thankful to them for selling the place to us. And that's our first liturgy. And I've been coming, of course, many, many more times when the church is going to be also be built. And I'm so thankful to all of you for coming today to this first divine liturgy at La Roche Place, if you wish, which is because La Roche College is on the other side. And we are opposite of La Roche College. However, the faith that we share is only one, and I'm so thankful to the sisters of La Roche College for giving us a piece of their land so that we may buy it and make it our own and celebrate the first divine liturgy that we celebrate today and celebrate all the divine liturgies that we are going to celebrate when we build our church at this sacred place. Thank you for coming today. You have a 
blessed, beautiful tent. It was a little bit painful in the morning because there was rain coming through. <laughs> and I was thinking of one year's more, I said to him, okay, we poured enough one year's more for this tent. <laughs> so that may be blessed, blessed all of us. And, and the books are blessed. Well, don't throw away the book that I had because a lot of rain came into it. But anyway, we did celebrate our ortho and everything was fine. We are now in the liturgy. I'm pretty soon be fine uh, doing the liturgy, consecrating the gifts, consecrating, be call, calling upon God's Holy Spirit to come upon you and consecrate you. Make each of you a living Eucharist. And then consecrate the gifts on the altar so that at the end uh, you may come and receive the holy gifts which are given to the holy, each of you sanctified by God's Holy Spirit. Upon whom we're going to call for him to come and consecrate you, consecrate the gifts up on the altar. And then the last thing we'll be doing, of course, is to read the beautiful prayers of Yasmo, of the blessed water, or for the blessed water, and then go around the tent as well and bless the beautiful place that we are beginning to use as a sacred place as of today. Thank you for being with us to witness this great event of our faith. This great moment in the life of, of the Church of the Holy Trinity. In the west side, it's still the west side, but anyway, north side, sorry, it's still the north side, but anyway, and uh, everything moves west this time, or north, sorry, north. So we have the uh, last in place, uh, we have celebrated the, the Divine Liturgy on uh, the feast day of St. George this time at the Chapel of St. George. Now the first liturgy in this area, not in this area, in this land, is today's divine liturgy. Thank you for coming. God bless the Holy Trinity community. God bless the John and all your co-workers, Father John. God bless our choirs for the beautiful job they are doing today. God bless the brother priests who have come to be with us. Papa Costa, one of my kids as well from the seminary. This is Papa Costa. And I remember the students chanting every day your birthday, remember that? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so I thank Papa Costa, who's one of our kids from, uh, um, uh, oh, come on, Harrisburg, okay, the capital of the state. I'm thankful to Father Stelios, who is a polity, if you wish, he was born in Istanbul, and you are kind of patriotes from that point of view. So I'm very thankful to him for being here, his presbytero, his daughter. I'm very thankful to Father Radu and eventually his family is also with us. And we're thankful to each of you for coming to today's liturgy. God bless us all. God bless this new beginning in the life of the Holy Trinity Church. Amen. Again and again in peace let's pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy upon us, and keep us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Calling to remember us, O most holy, most pure, blessed, glory to the Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let's commit ourselves unto another, but our whole life to Christ our God. Wisdom for and grant that we may always by your power give glory to you for the Son and Holy Spirit both not ever and unto the ages of ages
may the Lord our God remember us all. May the Lord remember our priesthood in His kingdom now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord our God remember His holy kingdom, our ecumenical patriarch, Bartholomew, His holy saint of the bishops, the clergy and lady of the Mother Church of Constantinople. Our brothers and celebrants, Father Constantine, Father John, Father Stelios, and Father Radu, with the Lord our God, and members of the kingdom, the choir members who chant in this divine liturgy, our chanters, the acolytes, the brother Christians who have come to this holy celebration, with the Lord our God, and members of the kingdom, the members of the Holy Trinity Church and all our brothers and sisters who are faithful to Christ and give witness to Him in this land. With the Lord our God, remember us all in His holy kingdom and ever and unto the ages of ages. <laughs> Πάντων των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών των θάδευσε βασκημένων και παντοκορθοδόξων, των υπερπίστων και πατρίδων αγωνισμένων και πεσόντων δαφώνημων, των μελών τη κοινότητα ταύτη, των ευδοκυρίων θανόντων, και ο Νέγκαστο και τα Διάνε έχει ζώντων και τα Εθνεώτων. Μισθή κύριο ο Θεό, εν τη Ευπουρανία Βασιλεία, αυτού πάντων δεν είναι και αή. Και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Peaceful and 
Maximus Dei Lorus Astralorus For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for the peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. As the clergy join together, we're offering the kiss of peace in front of the altar to complete our celebration as a family in Christ. Feel free to join to one another and greet one another with Christ is in our midst. He was, is, and always shall be. Through the mercies of the only begotten Son, with whom thou blessed, together in a holy good life, creating spirit ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be at all. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, 
and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, to God and the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, from whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and he suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I can pass one baptism for the remission of sins, I will make a further church to the dead, and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, our sacrifice of praise. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the Father, and the communion fellowship of God's Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, I am, I Φάγετε του του μέση το σώμα το υπερημόν κλώμενον εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών. Αμήν. Take it, this my body was broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Be it ex aftu pantes, tu tuesti to emma mu, tu discanis diathikis, tu hyperimon ke polon ek hinomenon is afes in amartihon. Τα εκ των σών συμπροσφέρουμε και τα πάντα και τα πάντα του Άφρου του Ρόγκου Γκίφ. Φόρμα, όλοι του φορά του μέρου σας εμένα. Έτσι προσφέρουμε στους δικητάς του Λατριέν. Και προκαλούμε και δεν θα κλέβω κατά στο πνεύμα του Ρόγκου Γκίφ. Τώρα τα αυτά σε ένας άλλος του Σπίρου του Απανάς Πρόνος και της Κλέφης του Ρόγκου Γκίφ. Ένας μπρέτ του πρέσου του Πάτου του Χριστ. That which is this cup, the precious body, blood of thy Christ, make it a change by thy Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. So be to those who receive them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins.
communion of the Holy Spirit is forbidden from the kingdom of heaven, born and sold to the eternal condemnation. We can you offer to this reasonable worship for those who depart, depart the faith, for fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, ascetics, confessors, and every righteous spirit may perfect the faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. Jesus, 
Ότι σου έστεινε η Βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρό και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Ta gia ti sa yis the holy gifts unto the holy people of God.
And to this end of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming for you, the Father of life. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his grace and love for humankind all grace and heaven to the ages of ages. Loxus Christus Theos Epismo Loxus Eve. O Anastas e Gnecron Christus Elithinas Theos Mus Previous Panacrans Mimus and Petros. Την άμπτη μου ύψη Χριστά που προστασίες μία πρόνατε με ασωμάτων και ασίες μία δόξη προς τους προδρόμους του Ιωάννου. Τον Ιωάννη δόξη μου προς τον Αδόξη μου και ο Μαρτίνος μου τον Ιωάννη δόξη καλή και όπως το δείτε. Αγίνω προς το άλλο του Ιωάννη καλή και ο Μαρτίνος μου τον Ιωάννη και λέω φόρο πατέρ ημών. Τον Αγίον και δικαίων του πατέρ ημών και Ιωάννης. Του Αγίου προφήτου Ιωήλ και του Αγίου μάρτυρος του Άρου που την επιτελούμε και πάντα στον Αγίον λέει είσαι και σώσ ο αγαθό και φιλάνθρωπο και λέει: Μον Θεό, διευκόν τον Αγίο Πατέρα Νιμών, κύριε Ισού Χριστέ Θεό, ρέει σώων και σώσουν ημά. Διευκόν τον Αγίο Δεσπόν του Ιμών, κύριε Ισού Χριστέ Θεό, ρέει σώων και σώσουν ημά. Η Αγία Τριάζα φυλάκτη πάντα σε εμά. The Holy Trinity bless you and keep you now and forevermore. Amen. We have now concluded the first and historic divine liturgy here on the new property of Holy Trinity Church with His Eminence's blessings and uh, leadership today. And we are going to have the parish council pass the tray at this time. Of course, as you can imagine, give generously and your love as a sacrificial first offering. Your very first offering on the new property. So therefore, thank you for setting a tone today of great love for your church. You may go As we conclude the passing of the trays, we will begin the blessing of the waters and blessing of the ground. And let me know, let me explain to you please what we will do. We will do the whole service right here. We will have a table brought up and we will do the blessing service here. We will do it through to its completion and then the, and at the end of that service, His Eminence will lead us, sprinkling with the sweet basil and with the holy water, and taking us outside the door. We will go around the tent and end up all the way around here, and we will end up in the field right in front. There is a large ladder that is placed out there. Our, one of our photographers will be taking the official I was there photograph of the first liturgy on the property. So everybody please, everybody, parish council, all the cooks and make sure everybody gets in, that we get over here, we will take the picture, 
and then we will return back in around the side of the tent here to the luncheon.